Hi, welcome back to Five Minutes in the Word with Redeem Girl Ministries, and I'm Marion Jordan Ellis. Today we embark on a study of a title of God that is one of the most famous in the Bible. It's from Psalm 23, the Shepherd Psalm, where King David writes, the Lord is my shepherd. Now I want to read the verse to you, and then I just want to stop and just kind of contemplate the intimacy and the just how personal this name of God is. Psalm 23 verses 1 and 2 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. Now, this idea of a shepherd, um, the, the context of this verse is from Psalm 23, and it's a psalm that King David himself wrote about the Lord. Now, if you don't know much of King David's backstory, when he was a teenager, a young 12-year-old boy, he was given the care of his father's sheep, and he was a shepherd himself. And as a shepherd, he understood that it was his job to feed, to protect, to guide his flock of sheep to good pasture. He was the one that would defend them from the lions and the wolves that came around. He was the one that made sure that they would be huddled together and, and camp down at night in a safe place from storms. And the role of the shepherd was completely to take care of and to provide and to be the one who nurtured and protected the sheep. Now, as a man, as an adult, David, who is this mighty warrior, who is this king over Israel, he's not ashamed to stop and to proclaim to the nation, guess what? The Lord, Yahweh, he is my shepherd. Think about how cool that is, but also think about how humble that is. That if we had a president or we had a, a ruler who would say, you know what? I'm only here because the Lord God Almighty protects me, guides me, leads me, uh, equips me. That is the heart of, of, of a sheep, is what God wants from us. And so when we stop and think about God being our shepherd, first of all, notice in this verse, David didn't say the Lord is a shepherd. He said the Lord is my shepherd. And we've got to begin to relate to God in that personal and intimate way. Yes. He cares for me. Yes, he wants to protect me. Yes, he is going to lead me in directions that I may not understand sometimes, but it is for good. He's taking me, even though I might be walking right now on this edge of a cliff and it may look scary, he's leading me to a green pasture. Although right now I may not have what I need, my God is directing me where there are still waters. And this is the intimate, personal relationship with God that he wants for us. That we would not just know him in a theological way, that we would not just know information about him, but we would know my God is my shepherd. Every need I have, he's going to provide. Every enemy I have, he is going to fight. Every place that my soul is weary, he's leading me to a place of rest. And I'm just telling you guys, right now in this season of life I'm in, I am so thankful I can know God as my shepherd because I don't have it all together. I don't have everything I need and I know the one who does. And so it is my prayer as we study this verse this week, let us please not just learn titles and names and information. Let's approach God as who he is. What do you need right now? The Bible says that when God's your shepherd, you lack nothing. Do you need direction? Well, God's, the word says when God is your direction, he's going to give you guidance. What, what, I mean, what's hurting you right now? One of the coolest imageries when I've studied in Israel is they taught us that when a, a sheep was hurt, the shepherd would literally lift it up and wrap it around its own shoulders and carry it. And sometimes, let's be honest, we are just flat out too weak to walk ourselves and we need God to carry us. So here's what I just want you to know. He is your shepherd and he is real and he loves you and your enemy is his enemy and your battle is your, his battle and your need is his need. And let's just worship him this week and rely on him as our shepherd.